Hey, welcome, my name is Oli, and today it's a new Gaming Mouse Battle Day. After the first battle of this year, which was the Lemzo Atlantis vs the XM2WE, today we will compare again two similar mice in these five categories. For each category, each mouse can receive one point, it's also possible to have a tie, the mice that have the most point at the end, of course, win. So today's battle will be this versus this, the Lemzo Atlantis Mini versus the Pulsar X2 Mini. Two small mice which belong in my opinion to the top tier in the mini categories. But who is the true mini king? So let's check out who is the winner. So first round weight and weight balance. With 50 grams the Atlantis mini is 3 grams lighter than the X2 mini with its 53 grams. Both mice are well balanced even if the 3 grams is not so noticeable the Atlantis mini is lighter and deserves the first point. The score is 1-0 for the Atlantis mini. Second round technical specification. Both mice have almost the same specs with a 3395 sensor. The difference are the switches. While the X2 Mini has a KL8 switches, the Atlantis Mini comes with a Yuano Blue Dot Pink switches, which feels better, faster and more spammable. The KL switches on the X2 feels ok but get tired after a while of usage. It also feels that the switches implementation, resonance and sounds are better on the Atlantis Mini. So the points goes to the Lemzu. The score is now 2-0 for the Lemzu Atlantis Mini. Next round, software and settings. Both mice have their own software. You can change almost the same settings. The interface are for both mice user friendly and both mice also have a DPI button at the back and a light that indicate which DPI is set on. So one point for both mice, the score is now 3-1. Next, shape and ergonomic in gaming. Shape-wise, both mice target their own gamers. First, you have the claw grip all-rounders Atlantis Mini with a strong curve on the flare side which make it great for all types of claw grips and even for bigger end size. So normal claw grip, aggressive or relaxed claw grip player can feel comfortable with this shape. Fingertip grip is also possible but here the X2 Mini is better with its straight side flare, it makes the fingertip grip more controlled. But it has also a great top shell shape like the Atlantis which gives a good palm support for claw grip. So both mice have in its own way a great shape and therefore it's a tie. The score is now 4-2. Final round, price and quality. Regarding the price, you can find both mice for around the same price. $90 or 110 euros for the Atlantis Mini, $95 or 100 euros for the X2 Mini. So we need to look more on the quality and here the Lemzo Atlantis is superior almost everywhere. The coating is better, the feeling on the clicks are better and you feel the mouse in general more solid. If I check closer, I have very sharp edges on the side clicks of the X2 shell. You feel it hard when you slide your finger on it while pressing mouse 1 or mouse 2 clicks. Also, over time my clicks on the X2 Mini start to have some grinding feeling and the sound of the kale is not the best. Moreover, out of the box my USB adapter of the Mini was defect can hear that something is detached inside. It's also known that other gamers have QC issues on the clicks. The Lamzu feels overall more solid and on top of that the unboxing experience is amazing. So for the price and quality the point goes easy to the Atlantis Mini. The score is now 5-2. And we have a winner! It's the Lamzu Atlantis Mini which completely destroyed the X2 Mini. I'm a bit surprised. 5-2 is a big slap for Pulsar. I personally thought the score will be more closer but at the end the Atlantis Mini deserves the win. Lamzu makes a good choice by choosing the right switches and components, pay attention to details and quality and give us an amazing unboxing experience for a great price. Moreover the Atlantis Mini looks great. Important to note, I bought at the same time the X2 Medium and I have until now no QC issues and I use the Medium more than the Mini. It's almost my main mouse aside from reviewing. In order to have an equal comparison, I use here the X2 Mini from the first patch and the Atlantis Mini from the first patch. Meanwhile, Pulsar released several new versions of the X2 Mini and QC looks to have been improved. So I hope it will be on point for the upcoming mice. So that is for today. If you like it, don't forget to drop a like and to sub to the channel. If you want more infos, you can also follow me on Twitter where I post some news and what is coming next. I hope you enjoyed this battle and as always, see you next time. Bye bye.